Welcome back to Let's Play Illusion of Gaia. So we arrived at Neil's cottage here. It's been about two years since we last met, hasn't it? I've invented lots of things since then. The four inventions in this room are my best work. Have a look. Okay. Here's an oxygen tank. There's air inside. With this you can breathe underwater, but there's only one minute's worth of air inside. Compressing the air would let you stay underwater longer, but I don't know how to do it. Well, knowing about it's the first step, I guess. Those are airplane wings. It's part of a machine that will fill man's dream of flying in the air like a bird. The body's too big and you need a runway to take off, so it's hidden in the desert. Yeah, not to mention jet fuel and stuff like that. If you know how to power an airplane, you should know how to compress air. That's a telescope. You can see stars as if they were in your hand. <clears throat> That's a camera. It will burn a copy of a scene onto printing paper. The problem is that it takes almost 30 minutes. Scenery doesn't move, but to photograph a person means they can't move for 30 minutes. When I used it, the eyes turned bright red like a rabbit's. Tell me why you came to see me. <coughs> will tells Neil about hearing his father's voice and visiting the world's ruins in search to find the mystic statues. <laughs> interesting. I too have some interest in the ruins. The ruins we'll talked about are scattered all over the world, but they have something in common. Drawing along a line among the ruins makes a shape that looks like the constellation of Cygnus. Cygnus? That's the Tower of Babel, where Will's father got lost. It's in the middle of the ground painting of the big white bird. There's a new red star below the constellation of Cygnus. That's right, you know a lot. The red star and Cygnus, Will's interest in ruins. Different elements are bound together organically. I don't know if it's by coincidence or by design, but something is going to happen. Fortunately, the Nazca ground paintings are a week's walk east of here. Go? Yes. Good, it's settled. <coughs> We're going too. We don't want Will to be the only one having a good time. The group went to the Nazca Desert. Okay, so a week's walk. Man, it's like right next to Neil's cottage. That's a week's walk. So it must have been like two, three weeks to walk to the diamond mine from Phrygia. It's crazy. And also, like Nazca's in Peru, right near the Inca civilization where they were. So shouldn't they be right next to each other? Not on different continents? I don't know. It was a long way, but you did a good job. This is the most famous of the ground paintings, the Condor. Have you ever heard of it? No one knows why ancient people drew pictures like this. Whenever I come here, I'm overwhelmed by the grand scale. You should go see it for yourself. Okay. Hey, Lily. I wonder why they made it too. It's scary. I'll stay here with Neil. Hey, Kara. When you look at it this way, it's like the white lines at an athletic event. Maybe the ancient Nazca people ran the 100 yard dash here. Really? Good for you, Kara. Doesn't there seem to be a pattern in the way the rocks are scattered around? Hmm, I don't know. Let me just go down here. No, I have to go talk to Kara one more time. Kara, where are you? Oh, here you are. This is the condor's stomach. If you dig here, you might find eggs. It's a joke! Don't be so serious, Will. Will, 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 Will. Now I go down here, I think. Yeah. Whoa. Hey. Get over here. Coo -coo -coo -coo. Ah. Oh, well. <clears throat> I lost him. But everybody should be... Whoops. Up here now. Hey, Neil. We'll talk about it when everyone comes back. The mystic statue that Will spoke of is somewhere on this plane? I thought I'd seen the paintings before. But doesn't this condor look like Cygnus? Of course, I hadn't noticed. When we look at it, we see Cygnus, but ancient people probably just saw a condor. Ah, I've got it. Look, look where the walks are on the ground. They're positioned like the stars in the constellation of Cygnus. Of course, Cygnus has nine stars, and there are nine stones. Where's the red star that appeared recently? Condor's head, condor's right foot, condor's left foot, condor's tear. Well, it's in the left foot. Of course, at the joint of its left foot. Let's check the left foot. 
Okay. Let's go down there, right here. Don't look yet. You don't know what's in there. Fine, but just hurry up so I can look. There's a tile buried in the sand. When Will's flute touched it, there was a rumbling sound. Hey, something huge is coming down. Will! 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 Sky Garden! There's a strange garden floating in the sky over Nazca. On the ground, Neil and my friends look like tiny ants going back and forth. <laughs> Could the paintings be an airport for the Sky Garden? It's like Sky Ball. We meet again! C -c 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 You're a strong boy to have come this far. Well, uh, thank you. This sky garden is our mode for transportation. There are four crystal balls in four locations. Each one in clock find each one in clockwise order. Well, you don't really have to, but <clears throat> drop off the cliff at the front and back to find the upside down world. Okay. We'll do. So we're supposed to do these in clockwise order. You don't have to, I don't think. But I guess it's a good idea. And those guys will explode, but don't worry about it. They won't hurt you. Other enemies will. Well, you'll see in a bit. Just block there. Gloves with your flute. Stop firing lasers. Whew. Okay, that's fine. Ow! Ha ha ha. You suck. Okay. Go. Get rid of that one, and we have a red jewel. Yay! So that's. I don't know how many I have now. Whoa, whoa, get out of here! Stupid. Whatever. What? What is that thing? Okay. <clears throat> There we go. I think that's all for the enemies we can get to for now. And like the guy was saying, we can just jump off a cliff and get in the underside of the world. Okay, the enemies here are quite a bit tougher. Oh my gosh, they're like souped up versions of the ones on the top. Yeah, watch out for that guy's hands because you can't block him this time. Watch out for these guys too, because when you kill them, they will explode, and their their drop balls will hurt you. Okay, back off. Back off again. There we go. Hmm. Let me try going down this way first. And this place is anatomically correct, so like, uh, so I was on the right side on the upper part of the garden, now I'm at the bottom part, or the right, the left, right part on the upper part of the garden, but then since I went upside down, I'm on the left side of this part. Hopefully that made sense. Whoa. Wow. Run away! <clears throat> you don't want to get hit by those, obviously. Okay, uh, run away. Let's see, anything good? Like HP? I could definitely use. Huh. Back to the top side. How many more enemies do I have? One more. 
Oh, damn it. We have to hit the sword before it goes back to his master. There we go. Now I can move the statue. Let's try moving it down instead. There we go. And we get... <clears throat> the crystal ball. Hooray. But I still have many more enemies to take care of on the other side of this place. Five more, okay. So six more enemies in total. Another one I can't get to until I jump off from a different part of this place. I guess right over there. Huh. Yeah, right here. I think there's a herb here. A nerd. There we go. Oh, I could definitely use that HP. Because when I get back out, there's going to be a dark space, so. No big deal. What? I would say this is one of the tougher areas in the game, especially at first. Especially since you have to use Will for the first part, too. Well, you don't have to use Will, necessarily. Ah! Wah! Urgh. Die! Thank you. I get more HP, good. It's nice to know that those guys drop HP. Oh, defense. I could definitely use that, too. Okay, so we're done with this place. We're done with the first area. So let's head on back towards the center of this place. And I don't need any HP fills, so... I don't need to go back to the dark space. That's nice. So let's go to area two. Area 2 is a good one to go to first, actually. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this one that's a good idea to do first. Okay. Use a strength upgrade, too. Right now. Okay. Ow. Should have been more careful. Oh well. Yeah, it's a good idea to let the sword kind of go by you on the first hit so it'll go far away from the statue guy. Damn it. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. There we go. Good job, Will. Okay, here's why it's a good idea to do this one first. So, let's move this guy. And there's a door with a dark space. Hooray! Now, let's heal up. Why not? Then go. Get out of my sight, you. Well, we can't use Freedan for the whole place. Hmm. We'll need Will again later, but not for a while. We can always just come back here, too, and get Freedan again. Okay, looks like there's more enemies to the left. Up here? No? Huh. Hmm. Did I make a wrong turn somewhere? Oh, I have to probably 
What? This guy's back? No way. Let's see. Can I get him completely out of the way? I think I can. There we go. That's better. See, where's the way I drop off? How did I miss it? Oh, it's right here. Duh. Okay. So let's explore the back of here a little bit. Watch out for this guy. Yeah, we do need Freedan for this part, I believe. Okay, let's get our Dark Fire ready and. Hiya! One more time. Oops. One more time! There we go. So that's all for this episode of Let's Play Illusion of Gaia. Next time we will continue through the Sky Garden. See you next time.